Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Matimo Diary. This is episode nine. We're here to talk about video games. Oh. So basically, that last time, I've got a list of questions that we're gonna go through all based on video games. If you were lucky enough to be one of a few that had video games growing up, you know, we're here to talk about that too. We're also here to talk about current games, video game series, everything is coming up. So come along, enjoy the ride. We we'll start with the first one. Do you like video games? Yeah. The next one. Do you play video games these days? How often? I don't play video games much these days. I'll probably play like a game like once or twice a month. However, if it's a game that I've been really looking forward to, or it's from a series that I know and love, like for example, Pokemon and Final Fantasy or Sonic, I will literally sort of binge that game, like constantly play it through, finish it, and then I'll wait till the next good thing comes out. What was the first game you ever played, where and when? First game I ever played in my entire life, was Song of the Hedgehog 1, that was at my Uncle Pep's house, and he had the Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis for your American. So I remember playing it and being like, wow, I think I must have been about four or five years old, definitely. Favourite all-time game, why? So you know what, I'm torn between Pokemon Gold and Skate 3. See, I've got good memories with both. Pokemon Gold, I remember getting a copy in America before it came out in the, in the UK. And I remember like, playing it constantly, like, that was fun, like, the story was great. You know, I was really drawn into it. Skate 3, on the other hand, like, I remember going around my bro's marketplace and uh, literally, like, we would just sit there for hours just playing the demo and, you know, trying to uh, get through these areas that were difficult to get to. And when it finally came out, like, me and Mark would just be, like, playing the game constantly, getting around, customising our decks, trying to learn all these tricks. You know, Skate 3 was a great one. I think I'd have to go with... I think I'd have to go based on which had aged well. And for me, Skate 3 had aged well. Cause I can still play it, whereas Pokemon Gold, it hadn't aged as well. What games are good to play on your own? I would say more RPGs. RPGs are great to play on your own because you're getting drawn into a story. That like games like Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts or Elden Ring or Skyrim. Like they're great because you can literally get drawn into them and just, yeah, basically that, that is the case. Um, other games that are really great to play are platformers, like Mario. Um, games like Song of the Hedgehog, Crash Bandicoot. These kind of games, they're good to play. What games are good to play co-op? Um, games that are good to play co-op are games like uh, Street Fighter, um, Street to Rage, you know, games that you can have work together or games that you can just fight against each other, like Street Fighter, Tekken, Virtual Fighter, you know. It's been a long time since I've like, played like, a co-op game. Well, a decent co-op game. Favourite device to play games on? At the end of the day, it's always going to be Xbox, you know. I've got a Sega Mega Drive, I've got a Sega Dream, Dreamcast, I've got the Xbox Series X and yeah, Nintendo Switch, you know, I've just, I've got them and hands down, like, I will play them if, like, they're the game that I've bought that, for that, but when it literally comes back after it, it's literally just being, like, a go-to, it'll be Xbox. Reason being is because I've got Xbox Game Pass and it's like such a diverse amount of games to actually shoot from, you know. 
and end of the day like the game part wins. Have you ever played in the arcade? Are arcades still around? Yes I have. Well, I remember my first arcade must have been the one in Brighton Beach on the pier. Like that was like my first exposure to it. I remember doing the uh, electric shock game where you have these metal poles and like, you have to hold on as long as you can while getting shots. And I think uh, I must have been about seven or eight. But I remember playing it and Dad was next to me and people were actually getting a bit... People were actually looking at me thinking, oh my God, this little kid is just holding on to his bar for dear life and he's getting on one of the highest ones. Like, <laughs> that is a good memory. But yeah, no, uh, I used to really love playing arcade games. Even used to do uh, that uh, GDR game, you know. When I used to go on holiday sometimes, there would be like a Metal Slug. That's a good call of game. Metal Slug. There would be like Metal Slug or uh, Street Fighter, you know, to, a, available to play. And majority of a holiday board, I would be like playing on these arcade games. Unfortunately, arcades aren't around so often now. But there are some places in London that either still maintain them or they've started up them and you know I do want to go visit them you know it is a real shame because arcades used to have a little community around them 90s like you see people like literally like you know hanging around arcades and all that jazz you know uh, no well it is what it is are there any upcoming games that you're looking forward to and what I think Upcoming games would have to be the new Fable game coming out. It's been teased heavily by Xbox and Xbox are actually meant to be having a live stream next week. Revealing details. I'm primed ready to go because I've got my Xbox Series X which is the right console to be playing it on. So, let's see what it's all about. Favourite video game character. That would have to be Song of the Hedgehog. That's the one I started off with. That's the one that I will always absolutely adore. You know, made me, made me so happy that I finally got a live action movie. Shame that some games haven't been alright, but you know, I will always have the original OG game to actually play. You know, Song of the Hedgehog always. Favourite video game series? That would have to be the Pokemon games. Pokemon games, you know, have the same formula, you know, you've got to catch them all, they're destroy, you know, it's driven, you get to battle other people, trade, collect, you know, even though the latest Scarlet and Violet games weren't great, I did enjoy them, but they weren't great, I mean, the concept is good, but how it was executed, mm. but Legends Arceus is great. Anyway, um, yeah, Pokemon 100%, not just because of the games, but also, you know, they had everything else that came with it, like the movies, the anime, they had, like, the cards, I mean, the cards, as we know, they're, they're huge then, you know, Pokemon 100%. First console, that would have to be the Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis, you know. Ever since the story at my uncle's house, you know, I kept begging my parents for it and eventually I got it. You know? <laughs> and, you know, I still have my Sega Mega Drive. I've got one more one here that hooks up to the TV. And uh, in the bedroom, I've got uh, a Sega Mega Drive that's like the original OG one that had uh, all the old connections and stuff like that. This one I prefer because, you know, it's just easier to just literally boot up. The longest game you've clocked up hours on. I'm not even ashamed to actually say this, but it's actually World of Warcraft. Yeah. Me and my brother you'd literally have like, been to that game like for hours and hours, like all the way through the night and through the day with Paul Nighters, you know. It was so easy to get lost in. I mean, you know, you would basically have like the story, you'd have all this loot, you'd have your things that you go out and find, you know, being around all these people online, uh, all these clans and groups, like, it, it was amazing, you know, it would like, get the best armour you can possibly get, oh, I can't remember so much of it back in the day, but I remember you just absolutely love it, you know, is World of Warcraft still around? 
I mean, they haven't seen it advertised much. To be fair, I don't think I would actually have the time to play it nowadays. Matter of fact, I think that's a good thing. Best not to get sucked back into that again. So yeah, no. The last question, what would be the first game you would introduce to your future kids? Well, I know that one. It will be the first game that I played as a kid. It would be Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you know? Nice and simple. Hopefully they'll fall in love with the same adorable blue hedgehog that speeds everywhere, you know? But also, you know, I'll, I'll can play, I can play with them alongside them, you know? And show them exactly what dad used to play, you know? I think that would be the one. And then hopefully later on, you know, show them stuff like Pokemon, you know? How cool would it be to actually play Pokemon games along with your kid and actually, you know, be able to trade and battle with each other? That'd be so cool. One can only dream. <laughs> And of course, I'll show them skate as well. Skate would be great. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Next week, it will be... Actually, I don't know what it's going to be next week. Because you know what? I'm keeping it spontaneous. And actually, keeping it spontaneous is actually working. So, yeah. So, tune in next week to actually find out what we're going to be talking about. I do always do it always great. But if you have any ideas or there's something you wanna you want me to base an episode on, it doesn't have to be death related, it can be about anything, you know. Go for it, man. Anyway, I won't keep you too long. Take care of yourself. Take it easy. Much love. And shout.